So today, today, I've got a black canvas up, and this one, I haven't gessoed exactly. I've uh, used black oil paint, because I painted over an old painting with black. And I thought, oh, if I paint over the painting in black, let it dry. It's been drying a while. Theoretically, I can use it as a black canvas. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name's Jason and welcome to another episode of me painting again! Oh yeah! The drama. <laughs> right, so what are we going to do today? I'm chomping at the bit to do a painting. I am chomping at the bit. But let's talk about the colours before I dive in there. <laughs> we have titanium white. Vermilion yellow. Vermilion yellow? <laughs> Start again. Blah, 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 blah. Titanium white. Vermilion red. Cadmium yellow. Yellow ochre. Okay. Prussian blue. Alizarin crimson. Van Dyke brown. Sap green. And this tasty shape. <laughs> Burnt sienna. So, <clears throat> my plan. So I don't always decide what I'm going to paint when I stand up to my canvas. I have to admit, at the moment, I'm using my memory or um, I see things happening, changing within the painting, when I'm painting. And uh, just grab some, some white on this fan brush, number three fan. Um, but today I do have a really strong idea strong well we'll see <laughs> but I want a uh, building I definitely want a building here no matter what happens a building will be there so today I'm gonna pull some of this down let's, let's see <laughs> can't see this mixing too much can you can't. You see the blue and the red should be mixing with that. But it isn't. I wanted to test this out. I don't know if you've ever tried it before using a, a painted canvas like on paint. Unfortunately it doesn't seem to work. But that's alright because We can get some paint from here, and then we can go. We can move it around using the colour in this brush. Down. I just want to get some shapes. Use our uh, brush that's got the colour on. Get some Prussian blue, or there's some crimson, tap it, <laughs> and just go up. back, have a look at that. Quite like that, let's make sure our land is okay. Might do a bit more. I might mix a bit. So what I would suggest then <laughs> is do it the other way. Use a uh, black canvas that you painted with gesso and then and then you can do this. So there's many ways to do the same thing. I did think it would work but it maybe what I didn't do is put enough paint on. But 
But it's alright. We'll get there in the end. <laughs> get there in the end. going straight up, straight up, and then we're getting these effects of potential trees. So I'm going to get some of this blue and red, maybe a little bit of the brown. Prussian blue, alizarin and crimson, a little bit of the brown, both sides of the brush. And we'll have trees. You can see some tree shapes. I mean, you get all kinds of other effects by doing that. So we're almost getting like a tree there. Painting a few. And you can use a little bit of this dark as well, just to. Uh, Tap in a few young branch here and there. Here and there. Yeah, something like that. And then use the liner brush. A load of this colour on. <laughs> Spin the bristles, spinny winny. Spin and Spin a few. Uh... I feel like there should be a tree there. <laughs> so you can put all these little branches in. There's a smaller tree there. But it's amazing when you're in the woods and you're looking in and you, you see all kinds of different shapes. What I might do, what I might do, use a bit of the sap green, a bit of the yellow ochre. Let's get some of this yellow ochre. It's quite dark still. I might put in a little bit of a bit of grass in here. Still, still quite a dark area, but it's starting to pick up a bit more colour. Maybe we can have a path there. So when you're doing your grass, something I was thinking about, I'll get some of this yellow a bit stronger. So some people, and I mean me, <laughs> used to uh, do this. And you see what's happening, you get a lot of lines, a lot of lines, and you don't want a load of lines like that, you just use them when you need them. <laughs> And uh, for some reason, I used to do this. And then when I was out teaching, I used to see it. And I thought, ah, I used to do that. But all you, all you want to do then is to, to get it going, get it all together. Like that. It takes that away and you can use those little brighter lines like this, I'll show you. 
so maybe here you want want it to be separate so you use that brighter line there and then you tap away as you come in away maybe you want to use it there as well you, you keep tapping keep tapping and it gets softer softer so I don't know why I did that but I've, I, I see it done as well I've seen it done so hopefully somebody's watching this and they're going that's funny funny thing Jason just did that because I do that <laughs> so uh, now I know what to do so let's get a little bit of this brown I want to make a tree I feel like making a tree here Whoop. <laughs> there. Yeah, I'm thinking another one as well. I was thinking another one, I was thinking another one right there. Our brush again. Let's get some of this dark. Remember, if it doesn't stick, you can dip your brush in a little bit of uh, like liquid it's oil, a bit of linseed oil works. Something to make it thinner. Just put in a few of these branches. kinds of little branches. There's actually some of these trees near where I live and unfortunately none of them have made it. They're all dead trees. They've left them though. I keep expecting to not see them but they're still there. Let's get some of this dark sienna and some of the white. A bit of red maybe as well. More the white. I'm trying to keep quite subtle. <laughs> quite dark. It's another one of these moody ones. <laughs> so I've, I've loaded it both sides, the brush, and then I'm thinking my light say coming out here. So we'll tap tap the uh, highlight on this one side. just sort of pull some of that light onto our tree and it will separate the tree from the dark so we can see it which is what you want So you got to remember, <laughs> remember, remember, always remember a painting. So I, I like taking photos, I like going out with my camera, but the camera, the camera never lies well. <laughs> Camera does a lot of work for you, especially for a painter. Uh, when you when you're not sure what should be light and dark, you can mess around with the camera, and then your exposure it chooses, doesn't it? It chooses what's light and what dark. So. Where when you're making it up like this, then the rules of a camera has gone out the window, and you the rules of a painter. <laughs> the tricks of a painter 
start appearing. I'm going to get some light and put a few lighter branches in. And what I mean is, you don't have to be the truth painter. <laughs> in fact, when you think about it, if you look at uh, if you look at a lot of the old master painters, did they paint it exactly to how it should be? If the light was on them in a certain way, is that how it was? Or did they play with the light in to tell the story of their own picture? That's the question you have to ask yourself. Let's get some green. Some green and I'm using this number six brush. You can use whatever. I'm gonna put a few little uh, little bits of Bit of this here and there. Why not? Why not? Maybe get a little bit of a yellow in with this. It's quite dull still. Maybe we can have a hint of a highlight. She's in the, uh, the corner of the brush. She's coming in at the corner. Corner of the brush. Tappy tappy tap. There we go, let's go somewhere like that. That's weird. <laughs> My brush is gone. <laughs> I had a brush ready. What was it this one? I thought I had a grass brush on the go. Oh well, we'll use this one. Let's get some grass. We want to have another layer. You know what I was saying about about that and then uh, go softer. The more you tap, more of it's picking up some of that undercore. It's actually working more there. <laughs> There's more colour there. Just tap it up, tap, 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 tap. Oops. Stand back, have a look. Clean that up a bit there. And we want to put in, we said we were going to have a house here, didn't we? Something else while I'm looking at this. If the uh, light is there, then that will go and then dark there. Be dark behind there as well, and probably down there. Okay, now, now, do do do, get the knife out, and uh, let's put a house in. Maybe there. Use this. Big knife. Like that. So we scrape out. <coughs> scrape off the excess. Put in the roof. Now we'll get some of this burnt umber, dark sienna, burnt umber and dark sienna. Let's imagine maybe there's a painter that lives there. <laughs> yeah, maybe there's a painter called, hmm, his name's Jason. 
And he lives in there. And he's out in the woods. That'd be perfect for me, actually. Because I like going out in the woods with my sketchbook, doing little paintings. So I'd like to live in this nice wooden little house. It would suit me. I'll use a bit of this, put it down here, put a bit of red in it. Maybe that'll sort of marbly cut across a little roll of paint and do little taps. If you can see that, I'll do a bit brighter. Yeah, that's a bit better, isn't it? See that a bit better. Maybe a little tiny bit of white in it. Red and white. Just to get this side. Darker under there. Now, what I want to do actually get some burnt sienna, burnt sienna and white. Yeah, let's put it there. Cross. Now I want to bring this down. Some light pressure. Something like that, and then I don't want it to be too bright over this side. So I might put a bit more of the dark in it. Go over here. It's a bit darker. Something like that. Some white my knife. Could do with a bit of dark. a door for my little cabin, my little cabin in the woods. Got to get in there somehow. I might give myself a window. Maybe the lights on it then. Maybe I'm in there painting. Maybe I'm in there painting this painting. <laughs> Actually, while we're doing this, let's get a bit of this brown and put in the uh, indication of all boards. In there. I want to be able to see the door a little bit better, so get a little bit of the light. Let's use this. Can't remember what that was for. Oh no. Let's use a bit of the light in there. And I want a little window as well. And we was thinking the lights on, wasn't we? So let's put the light on. Let's get a bit of yellow. A bit of the yellow.
light is on. Maybe you can see it around the door. I'll leave that quite loose. So we're in there painting this painting. <laughs> Here, just to uh, separate that. Okay. Now, I might actually have a chimney on there as well. Because what if the wind gets up and it gets a bit cold in there? I could have a chimney there. Big lump of paint then. <laughs> yeah, so what a chimney. Maybe we should highlight just one side of that chimney. Yeah, something like that. And I would, uh, I wouldn't. wouldn't want to do much gardening here. I wanted to spend most of my time painting. So we'll uh, maybe we'll have a few bushes. Get some dark, some blue, some crimson, some brown, some green. Maybe there's some bushes there. I've been lazy. I've not, not bothered uh, cleaning the garden. <laughs> I've left this forest, go back to wild. The wildness of a forest. And in fact, maybe there's a tree. Since uh, I'm enjoying myself again, maybe there's a tree going. Funny thing, isn't it? The, the whole painting thing, you're creating so much. It's, it really is fun. And a few, uh, a few of these. Maybe we want to highlight them before we do that. I was thinking maybe. So it might have a bush there as well. And what have we got here as well? I can see another bush there. <laughs> Why not? I think we best. Let us use... Maybe we'll just use the smaller knife. Use the smaller knife. Let's put a path in. Let's get a bit of the blue. Blue and brown and a bit of the red. Why not? This can be our path colour. So maybe there's a path that goes off into the woods there. It comes down here. It goes up. Up to uh, to my cabin. <laughs> I want to put a little light on this. Let's get this light colour we we'll used for trees. Maybe that'll work. Just a little bit of light. There we go. 
come out there and they come walking down here. Maybe uh, maybe I'd pick blackberries here. <laughs> you would, uh, yeah, you would, because in the woods where I go, you do pick blackberries. I'll put a bush there. Let's get some uh, yellow, yellow ochre, some of this dark. I'm going to put some bush marks in. Of course, we don't want to go too bright, but we want to be able to see them. <laughs> Might go a bit of red in it. Hmm, that could be nice. Let's see how this looks. Put one there. That's quite nice actually. Might put a bit there. Just stand back, have a look at that. There's a bush. There's another one. There's another one. There could be all sorts. You get them everywhere. Everywhere. In fact, to be honest, if he was painting where I am, it would be covered in nettles. <laughs> Maybe that's what you want to do. So I'm going to darken this side a little bit. Just darken that side a little bit. Get a bit of the dark colour. Bring that together a bit as well. Just sort of stand back, have a look. Yeah, quite well, like that. I'm going to uh, highlight that tree. Put the old white and brown. Standing back, having a look, could uh, maybe could make that stand out a bit more. Dark on the sap green. Big tree. Trees are huge, aren't they? They're huge. Bit of a highlight. Maybe with a knife we can uh, grab some of this brown. And remove some of this paint. in this. I 
How many you want? You get loads of details in the forest. You can you could have like maybe there's a tree there and it died and that's all that's left. Also it has a bit of a highlight on it. Get a bit of the dark again. And that's all that tree became. Oh yeah. <laughs> I could keep going. I could put another maybe there's a smaller tree there. Maybe a little bit of a yellow a bit on the knife. He leaves. Something like that. But yeah, you can keep going and going and going. And, you know, <laughs> I could. I could, I tell you. I, uh, I struggle to stop because I'm enjoying myself and I'm like, ooh. I could do this, I could add a bit of yellow in there, I could I could add a person walking or you know, you could do all kinds of things. But at the moment I'm in my little cabin and I'm enjoying myself <laughs> doing this painting. So thanks very much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it gave you some inspiration and ideas of what you could do on your painting. So I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye!